We are five days a week. We are 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Love is unconditional. In love, there are no conditions. You, you love for no reason, with no justification. You are free to be who you are, and you allow others to be what they are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 22, NASDAQ up 16, SP's up 4.5, gold contract down $8.90, trading at 12.04 an ounce. Silver down 6 cents at $17.08 an ounce. Platinum off $12.50 at $9.63 an ounce. Copper down a penny at $2.61 a pound. Light sweet crude down a buck 17, trading at $51.31 a barrel. We're going to get the oil numbers uh, out tomorrow. We'll get the actually AP numbers out uh, actually in the next uh, half hour. Uh, oil numbers don't normally come out on Wednesday uh, with the holiday. We're going to have gas numbers at 10.30 tomorrow. Oil numbers at 11 o'clock. Bonds. You get the 10-year 10, 10 note down 27.6, 124.13. 30-year bond off a full point plus 25 ticks. 151.17. Now, those, that's, those are big numbers, folks. So we came down hard in the notes and the bonds. And guess what? Dramatically lighter volume. So you had a fast crush on price. No volume. That says you're going to go right back topside. Um, they were selling off all day long. Then Yellen came on uh, with a speech. And inside that speech, she said she felt that the Fed was near their long-term goals, meaning that the full em employment and uh, their inflation targets. And of course, what that would mean is that, guess what? That would mean that higher interest rates. She also came out and said that they didn't have a timeline for that. King dollar, King dollar up 945 ticks, 101.265. That's a nice bounce on King dollar, but guess what? King dollar, no volume on that bounce. King dollar looks like it's setting up a large ABC structure on the way down. The Euro is trading at 106 and the yen is trading at 114.58. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have out here? Okay, so S&P, the SPY out here today was up 50 cents. You're trading at 226.75. You did volume of 50 million. It's anemic volume. Yesterday, we came down with 61. That was anemic volume. You went up the prior day with 62. Bottom line... You're 226.75. That's saying that the 227.40, the highs of, uh, let's say, yeah, on Friday, want to get tested. Dow Industrials. What do we have inside the Dow Industrials? Dow Industrials sideways move. Well, actually, no, Dow Industrials rejected lower, lower price um, and had dramatically lighter volume. So let me look at this for a second. So you got, yeah, you got 771 million. Yesterday, it did 900 million, 771. That's saying that. Once again, Dow Industrials are going to make a run. Um, you know, I don't necessarily think the 20,000s in play, but of course, what we have hit, and then we hit that on the 6th of January, we hit 19,999.63. Have to love that, man. And the uh, first, NASDAQ composite. What do we have with the composite? Composite is closed at 5555.656. I like that one. Uh, composite is game to, you know, go after its high once again, which is the, uh, 55584. And the X100, the three Qs. Inside the three Qs, three Qs closed at, uh, 12304, and, uh, they had light volume, 12.2 million. Uh, right now, they, uh, they should be trading up a little because Netflix come out with numbers. So we're, yeah, we're, we're trading at 12313 right now. Uh, NFLX, Netflix come out with numbers. Netflix closed at 133. That's trading at 143. So that'll send a little uh, juice into the composite. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract. Gold contract uh, trading down 880. You did 190,000 contracts. Bottom line. You pull back with dramatically lighter volume. That's saying gold still wants higher price. What we did out here, we pulled back into 381,000. You did 190, 
and you're also pulling in back into 329,000 contracts. Silva, same type of setup as gold. Pullback, dramatically lighter volume on the pullback. Um, actually, oh, no, that's right. Silver, so Sil what Silver did is this. Silver actually got to a higher high. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Um, so Silver, you know, we got to price point of $17.36. We're trading $17.09. It's trying to bust over the high of the December 14th. You know, Silver's much weaker than gold. You know, gold is already up at the November 10th and November 11th uh, area inside the chart. That would bring silver up to $19. Uh, so what I expect to see in silver, silver can back down to like $16.90, nothing heavy. King dollar, oh actually, no, let, no let's go take a look at the, uh, the notes first. So, <clears throat> excuse me, you had the notes come down with price destruction. 25 ticks in the 10 year, that's a big number. Um, 32 ticks, remember, is a full point. Uh, it's very unusual when the 10-year does a full point. We did come down on 1.2 million contracts. You're coming into 1.8 million contracts as well as 1.5. So it's going to need a lot more contract volume to break out, uh, break down rather. We got to take a look at the 30-year. 30 30-year 30 also came down hard, full point plus 21 ticks. Um, that came down on 217,000 contracts, you're coming into 338, you're coming into 301. King dollar, this is the number, folks. Good old king dollar. So king dollar goes up 935 ticks. You're at 101.255. You did volume out here of 38,000 contracts. You're going into 61,000 contracts as well as 74,000. That looks to me like A to B, and we'll see of an ABC structure on the way down. We'll see where the C is gonna line up. This is Tom O'Brien, this is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials finished down 22. NASDAQ up 16. S&P's up four. We're gonna be right back.